Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, I'm filming this in the morning. I got a hell of a lot of content to film today. It has been a day of news, but today we're going to talk about Love Island. Haven't spoken about them in a minute. The new season is coming soon. I think it's June 5th or something like that. I don't really know, but we do have some updates from some previous seasons that we're going to talk about in this episode, this video. Before I get into it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. This information in part comes from Discord. If you have not joined the Discord, the link is in the description box below. Also a link to my socials is there as well. We would love to connect with you. So this is a breakup update of couples new and old stemming from seasons I think seven eight and nine if I'm not mistaken or is it six seven and nine irrelevant we're just going to talk about it the first couple which is a shock to me a literal shock to me is Paige and Finn now Paige and Finn were young on the show some people were saying in the discord and so the breakup isn't necessarily a surprise because we are different people as we age and we're trying to find ourselves in our early 20s I feel like you're more self-assured in your later 20s and obviously well hopefully not obviously in your 30s who you are at that point is typically who you're going to be, right? So when you're so young, there's a lot of adjustment and a lot of changes. So somebody was saying they're not surprised that the breakup happened. I am surprised. I am. I wouldn't say that they were my fave, but I definitely thought they were very well suited for each other. 1000%. If I'm not mistaken, this was Finn's first relationship. And I think Paige had been in a previous relationship with somebody well known. And they ended up winning the show. You know, the winter seasons are kind of a blur. But uh, I'm shocked, you know. You're the only big boy here. Cool. Fuck up, big boy. <laughs> I came in here trying to find someone. Uh -huh. I didn't think I would find someone like you. I just knew within the first day that my head weren't gonna turn. I have said to the boys, like, if I was to come in here and you were single, like, it would definitely be a big step into progressing with you. I'm genuinely shocked. All the best to both of them. I do wish them well. That's sad news. Other breakups that have happened. This one happened a while ago. I just didn't talk about it because I didn't feel like it was worth a solo video, but it's in this video. Teddy and Faye. Now, I'm not as shocked about this one, cannot lie to you. Teddy fucking knew every single thing. None of that, none of what I'd done came as a fucking surprise on that screen. Don't want to chat to you. Don't want to talk to you. Don't want to hear your voice. Don't want to look at your face. If I was you, I would just keep walking, Teddy. Oh, shit. I'd already told you, so I have no problems in this. I have a lot I, of problem with you. I've got a problem with you, though. I don't want to speak to you because right now, you look like a two-faced prick. Unless you I'm fucking didn't. thick, and unless you're a mime, that was you on that screen. I know it was me. Oh, it was you? you oh, oh. Fuck off, because my action, my okay, reaction was only like based shit. on I your look, fucking look, okay, actions, right, so right, fuck right, off. Right, right. You know, I loved Faye in the beginning, and then I had the turn, as most people did, <laughs> near the end, but regardless, she did find Teddy, and I feel like... You know, my feelings on their relationship at the time is irrelevant. Let's just say this one is less of a surprise. Yeah? Um, I'm here at the house, though. I have actually been tearing up, which is why my eyes is the way it is. My nose is all red. Um, but, whew, yeah, it's an empty shell. Um, and it's, it's obviously always going to be quite emotional being back here. Um, I'm trying to pack some stuff up. But yeah, I'm um, I'm distracted by the fact that it is International Women's Day, and I'm hugely appreciative of the women that I've had in my life. If I'm not mistaken, I'd have to read it, but you know, I'd have to go back and look at the articles, and I don't really want to do that. But I think it is rumored, rumored, that there could have been infidelity. 
I don't think either party has said it explicitly, but I think in the comments, people were talking about something and then Faye inadvertently confirmed that. Don't shoot the messenger. I don't really know the message completely. I'm just repeating what I think I heard and saw and read. So yeah, they had broken up a, a, a few months back, if not a month back, not too, too long ago, but yeah, their relationship has ended as well. And lastly, with the most recent season, season nine, <laughs> Now, this one is not a surprise at all, at all. Um, Tom and Sammy. Now, here's why this one is not a surprise. As we were watching this damn show, I struggled. And when I say struggled, I mean struggled to find what Tom liked about Sammy outside of her accent and her looks down to the reunion no not the reunion actually yeah even the reunion I was I was meeting the finale but both the reunion and the finale he was asked by Maya what do you like and they're both like oh we just we love everything about each other you are the ultimate tall dark and handsome man that I've been looking for and your chat's not bad either I look at you every day and you literally leave me speechless I genuinely think you are the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen and you've got the personality to match it to a T. Who would have thought I'd be with a little worldie from North London? <laughs> I'm really not used to speaking about how I feel towards a girl, but with you it just feels so normal. I am so excited for our future together. I never want to hurt anyone's feelings and honestly I truly apologise if I have. Mm -hmm. um, but look, I'm walking out so strong with Sam and honestly I, I couldn't be happy, but yeah. Well you guys, you obviously went to Castle Moor, a lot of stuff happened, but you came back stronger than before. What is it you love about each other? Oh, honestly, like, it. can I say everything? We'd be, yeah, we'd be here all night, honestly. We'd be here all night. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, relationships can stand on that, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what the reasons were for the relationship not working out, but I do have a feeling that maybe something was lacking in the substance department. Just, just based off what I was seeing on the screen, I felt like I wanted them to justify their connection a little bit more and they really struggled to do so but yeah either way whether i expected it or not it is sad news people breaking up i love love and when it doesn't work out it's it's sad it's kind of sad so i wish everybody in this video well yo the page and finn one that one really threw me truly <laughs> see what i did there Anyways, let's move on. Um, yeah, season 10 is coming real, real soon. I'm going to be covering that as always. Probably gonna do a first impressions as well since you guys seem to love those videos. So stay tuned for that. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.